I am a travel blogger and I have been to many countries. What makes me most unforgettable is the food everywhere. Every time I go to a place, I will taste the local food. I have a habit of overeating and when I come across food that I particularly like, I will eat a lot of it. I also love Chinese food, and I know many people think it is too spicy, but I like it very much. I knew that my eating habits were very unhealthy, but I couldn't control myself when I came across something I wanted to eat. One day I felt a lot of pain in my abdomen and I went to the hospital. The doctor couldn't diagnose my problem and said that it was possible that I had eaten some kind of unclean food that caused it. Because I had had this before, I would get better with pain medication, but this time it didn't. My mother realized that I was getting worse and she took me to the hospital again. We were lucky that the doctor that night was an experienced one. He told me that it was my appendix that was the problem and that I had to schedule surgery as soon as possible because my appendix had started to ulcerate. I was soon in the operating room. I lost a lot of blood during the surgery and my heart stopped beating on the operating table. The last thing I remember is that I told the nurse she had beautiful eyes, and I was a little embarrassed because I spoke loudly enough for the other doctors and nurses to hear me. When I regained consciousness again, I was out of my body. I was floating on the ceiling of the operating room. I looked down and saw a lot of people around my body. I had no attachment to my body and no regrets about leaving it. I felt very relaxed and free. There was no more of the pain of the past few weeks or the worries of life. My body has been a source of pain. I felt like I was ready to leave. I continued to float up and out of the hospital. I saw the city and all the people doing their thing. The higher I flew, the people and buildings got smaller and smaller until I could see the outline of the earth. Every person. Every creature, every plant, every rock I saw, everything was interconnected. I could see how we are all connected, part of each other, part of God. I felt a strong sense of love. I had an indescribable joy. Before this, I was full of doubts about the world. Here, I knew everything and no longer had any doubts. I floated to the clouds and decided to stop there. I don't know why I did this, I guess it doesn't matter. I stopped just for the sheer joy of it. I remember becoming smaller and smaller until I was part of the cloud. I could also keep shrinking until I was a particle. I could see every particle of the cloud and I was nothing and everything at the same time. After that, I soon left the earth and went to the light. I was part of the light. I could have stayed there forever, and maybe I did, because time no longer existed. Then I saw two living beings who shone with golden light. It felt like we were one, but separate in some way. Sometimes they had form, sometimes they were just an amazing golden light. Although I hadn't seen them before, I felt like I knew them. I wanted to see her facial features, but the more I stared, the less I could see. They were very warm and welcoming to my arrival. We were communicating with our minds. They took me to a strange place. Three spheres formed an equilateral triangle. In the middle there was another sphere, but it was bigger than the other three. I felt that it was constantly changing. I could see the stars. It was so wide. I also saw the earth, and I was amazed by what I saw. The earth was so wonderful. I felt that the earth was alive, as if the earth itself was a living thing. The earth was full of life, like a hive of awakened bees. Finally, they asked me to make a choice. 
I could go with them and live in the light forever. Or I could go on back to live. I didn't understand why they thought I would go back and be so happy with them. They told me that I still had a long way to go in life and a lot of life that I had not experienced. I still had a lot to learn and a lot to teach others. They also told me that I was needed. They will always be with me. And I am not alone. None of us are alone. Life is always full of hope. The main reason I finally made the choice was love and responsibility. So I reluctantly chose to come back. Coming back was not as easy as leaving it. I kept vomiting and I felt incredible pain. Both physically and emotionally. I often wondered if I had made the right choice. 